Hello, fan fans. I am the PC Expert Amateur, and we are going to take a look at the Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120 version 2, which I think is just because they changed the frame. Um, they don't even put version 2 on here. They just mark it as new fan frame design. But when I bought it, it said version 2. I think I also have the original version, although I'm not sure where I put it at this point since I have got almost all of my fans still packed away as I'm trying to get down to the last fans. But I'm going to have to dig through because I'm finding some that I've already done the initial review of, which suggests that there are fans that I packed away with the ones that are done, That, but these are there are some that are not done. Anyways, PWM connector, sleeved cable, and it does have corner cushions. Comes with uh, the fan bolts. And of course, now is the very important time for some of you to listen. Uh oh. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay, there was a, a pin getting bent in the socket, and I wanted to make sure that didn't get ruined, so I fixed that. And it's, this is really quiet. Really quiet. Very, very slight noise. Interesting. No um, harmonic resonance. Fairly, it's it is kind of a loudish fan, but I think uh, you won't notice it very much once it's in the case. And as far as static pressure is concerned, I'm going to say like maybe 1.5, which means we can use this for the case or for an air cooler, not for a water cooler. All right. Um, Please like, subscribe, and share to help me out. It won't cost you anything. And we'll take a look at the specs now. The Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120 version 2 or MFX-B2NN-18NPK-R1 is a $13 fan approximately. Depends on where you buy it. You can, um, but uh, between the two places I bought it, uh, it averaged out to be about $13 with the a uh, little bit of shipping. C uh, Underwriter Laboratories, E465463, UKCA, FCC, EAC, and EMC certifications. Made in China, 120 by 25 millimeters, 160,000 hours of life, two-year warranty, 170 grams, seven blades, 105 millimeters between the um, holes, 650 to 1800 RPMs, plus or minus 10%, 62 CFMs of airflow, 2.5 uh, millimeters of static pressure so I'm gonna say BS on that one it was more like 1.5 and um, 8 de to 27 decibels 31 uh, centimeter long fan cable <coughs> not daisy chained but it is sleeved PWM connector rifle bearings one of the reasons it's so quiet is because it's new because I barely this is like the second time I've turned it on I think um, and <coughs> rifle bearings and sleeve bearings are very, if, if they're not damaged or cheap, uh, they are very quiet in the end as they get older, they get noisier and noisier as they lose oil, they get noisier and noisier and they will stop working abruptly when the whole thing seizes, unless you keep on adding oil, but you have to have the kind that you can take apart to do that. Otherwise, you just have to throw it away. 12 volts, 1.8 watts with a maximum of 4.44, which is, wow. And the, the amps are 0.15 with a maximum of 0.37. The uh, 
Fan does have indicators of rotation and flow turns in a clockwise direction, has four fan bolts, and of course the corner cushions. Hello, thanks for watching my video, and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers' comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023, uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers' comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months, but in I would if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <coughs> so, slash... G L E N N M I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there. Let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people. Um, also, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, Rudik uh, from Australia, who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for, that's okay. Um, I will certainly try to do that anyways. Um, and uh, it, it means a lot because not only did you um, choose to financially support me, but you've also been supportive in some of your, in some comments on my, some of my videos. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, if there are any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on Patreon. And uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible sometimes i don't see comments right away because of the way youtube works and uh oh by the way um thank you to bleeping computer and it's the owner of bleeping computer who goes by the name of grindler online on uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel uh the pc expert amateur and uh I appreciate it very much, and you sh if you need help with, uh, say, malware or, or technical problems with your computer, the uh, Bleeping Computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers, um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there. Sorry. And... We'll be happy to help you. And you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.